I admit it, I am the worst when it comes to stretching. And I know I should be better. I admit it, I am the worst when it comes to stretching, and I know I should be better about it, but for some reason I'm like, eh, I'm not going to do it. But here to help with three easy stretches um, to keep you pain-free, Dr. Isaac, he joins me now. Doc, I'm, I'm so glad you're here. I'm, I'm a super excited I'm, to be I'm here today. I'm a runner, and I just, like, at the end of my run, I'm just, like, walking to my car. Yeah, I drive to where I'm going to run, too, so that's another problem. But help us out. Three easy stretches, because we're on our cell phones, we're on our computers. Yeah, it's so bad. So the first stretch is, and I love this stretch, I call this the clucking chicken. Okay. I know it looks really funny, All right. but this is a super powerful stretch for anyone who has neck pain. Ooh. A lot of people are on their computers and, and looking down at their iPads and texting, but this one is going to totally help you out. Guys, this is funny, but what I want you to do is cluck your chin with me like this, in and out. Oh, and I'm going to do it funny, right? but <laughs> it's like cluck. Cluck, <laughs> cluck, right? It looks really funny, but this is a super powerful exercise for really? anyone with a stiff neck. And just going back and like that? Do it yeah. one more time. Do it one more time. So just like that. Just going back? Yep, push okay. your chin all the way back and do like a clucking chicken. <laughs> That's not a cute one. <laughs> Don't do it on a first date, but yeah. It really okay. helps for headaches too, by okay. the way. It's all fantastic. Right. <laughs> now for my second easy stretch. Okay. This one's my favorite. I call this the angel. Okay. What you do is you reach up for the sky, sit up nice and tall. This is an awesome stretch, by the way, for posture and will help your upper back and shoulders. Okay. You just reach up for the sky and pull down the sky and squeeze oh, your shoulders together. Oh, it's like you're doing a fake, you know, like gym a fake little pull down. thing, right? A pull down. Okay. Yeah, this that's is awesome. And that's for the back and yep, your Yep, you'll posture. feel it right okay. here in your upper back. And this is a fantastic exercise for anyone who is struggling with posture. Hope you got your deodorant on, right? <laughs> yeah, make sure you got your deodorant on so you don't really, you know, show up those sure. armpits. Sure, yeah, okay. But it's a great exercise, okay. and it's my favorite one. It's my that favorite stretch. So the that angel does. stretch. Okay. Yeah. The third one, we're going to stand for this one. This is the cobra, yeah, right? Yeah, the cobra stretch. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is the cobra. Let's see. So here. here's the cobra stretch, guys. Whoever has back pain out there, I'm sure you do, because uh -huh. everyone's got back pain. What you do is you put your hands on your butt, and oh. you lean all the way back, as far back as possible. Look up at the sky, and this is a fantastic stretch. And you try to do it about 10 times all the way back. That's all a good the back one. as far, yeah, as, far as you can? Yeah, fantastic for a stuck hip. Okay. If you have a stuck hip, or like a limited hip, or a lower back problem, it helps you okay. relieve your pain in an instant. Okay, and then as a bonus, I am doing this one for personal reasons as well. My poor sweet mom suffering from plantar fasciitis, but so many people we've talked to have done the same. So you've got to stretch for plantar fasciitis before we go real quick. If you've got that shooting pain, you take off your shoe, yep. and you do you pull it back. You said that's how you stretch, because it's actually, people have been misled on this, right? Absolutely. So many people are misled, especially runners. What they do, they're told to stretch this Forward, way, and that's right, it. and move their toe up. No. Actually, there are nerves on the bottom of the foot called the plantar nerves, and they're being overstressed, and that's mm. why you feel the pain, not the okay. plantar fascia. Okay, so, so what you back. do is you pull your foot down and bring it towards your big toe towards, okay. your, nose, okay. towards your nose, like that. All right. And you pull it down and in, and it looks weird, but actually it relaxes the bottom of the plantar fascia. Perfect. That's a little trick. Good job on no church socks, by the way. He's not wearing holy socks today. Listen, painfreemaverick.com. You can get a free copy of the Doc's e-book, Pain Secrets. Your doctor doesn't want you to know, Doc. Thank you. It's coming out next week, oh, guys, on Thank Amazon. You. Take care.